lots of types of barbecue. Memphis, Texas, Kansas City. Speaking of Kansas City, my big prediction for this week is that my opponent won't get much out of his KC stars. Ooh, saucy. Have you ever worn a diaper or a Speedo? Been forced to eat crickets or two pounds of cake? Perhaps you've dressed like Elsa, Santa Claus, or a pirate, but not on Halloween. You may be the victim of a side bet. I'm attorney at law Phil Filibuster, aka the Fantasy Falcon, and I'm here to fight for your dignity. Side bets are extremely dangerous. One minute you can be being a normal life, and the next you're getting a tattoo of Steve Buscemi on your right buttock. If you've been the victim of a side bet, contact me ASAP. I may not be able to restore your honor, but I guarantee that I can lessen the pain. How, you ask? Well, by proving to you that it could be worse. You see, I used to play fantasy football. I used to do a lot of things, actually. I also used to have the respect of my peers, a, a wife who loved me, and hope for the future. But through side bets, I lost it all. That isn't the worst of it, though. For that, I'll have to show you my right buttock. In half my fantasy memories, I've got my pants down at my knees, watching touchdowns from Drew Brees on the pod. I've got Tyreek and also Zeke, but sadly they're both on by weeks. Now my butt is falling asleep on the Check my score again. No real rush. Zip my jeans back up again. Always remember to flush. At a rest stop down in San Antonio, I'm still checking my iPhone. As my QB enters the red zone, I'm on the Pod. Is Saquon really worth the hype? Should we talk trades tonight on Skype? And did I just forget to wipe on the pod? Check my score again. No real rush. Zip my jeans back up again. Always remember to flush Where I traded for Juju Same place I drop a deuce I watch my squad and pop a squad On the pod Check my score again No real rush Zip my jeans back Remember to flush Yeah, always remember to flush <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent Ah, little Eric Okay, um, it says here that earlier when you turned your head to cough they jingled a little bit. Is that uh, natural? Fascinating. Well, the good news is that your fantasy team isn't completely broken. Um, the bad news is that you'll be in a lot of pain watching them for the next few weeks. I suggest purchasing plenty of tissues for your tears. It's time. Your big moment has come. It's your pick in the fantasy football draft. The only problem? You don't know how to pronounce the player's name. Can you imagine the ridicule if you said, Adam Thielen, or, um, Brandon Oak, or, Laviska Chanel Drew. At a time like this, there's only one thing to do. Reach for some unspeakably good popcorn. 
Acting as a buffer against your idiocy, unspeakably good popcorn muddles your words, so even if you're halfway close to the right pronunciation, everyone else will completely understand. Unspeakably good popcorn. You won't be able to express how grateful you are.